career and my education has been about uh, working in the education field, everything from an EA uh, to a youth and family worker to uh, doing social work. Um, the work that I did in the past for quite some time was dealing with uh, neurodivergent students specifically uh, throughout the district providing uh, a lot of problem solving around that, everything from safety plans to uh, positive behavior support plans to um, consulting with teachers, with administration. Uh, in my current role right now, uh, there's a lot of work, as you probably realize, around online education, online life uh, for students. Um, I'm in high schools right now, and so a lot of my time is dedicated to working with kids uh, on situations, issues, safety issues that can happen in online spaces. Probably number one is relationship skills, uh, being able to connect with people, uh, being a really good communicator, you know, being assertive and making sure that you are coming across with empathy, caring. And uh, collaboration is really important. And another thing is being a good listener, you know, really having effective listening skills, um, because whether whether you like it or not, um, those are the things that are going to really take you far, because those are the building bo blocks of, of building relationship. Um, and when and when we're talking about, uh, you know, building those skills the wonderful thing is is that you can build those skills and you know uh, our program at ashton college that's one of the main focuses so what's great about our program is that we go over a multitude of different um, themes and ideas everything from human development uh, and basic understandings around psychology uh, to, you know, looking more in depth at neurodivergent students that you could be really focusing in on. In a lot of cases, really doing a lot of one-to-one -one work around some, you know, extremely difficult or complex, I think would be a better word, um, students. Uh, and so we, in our program, really, I feel, do a great job of covering all of these different elements, we give you uh, the perspective of somebody who's actually doing the work. And that is um, really what makes us very special, uh, is that the people that are teaching these courses and helping to guide us through these uh, difficult jobs, um, they're right there. I think that's what makes us stand out is that uh, our instructors and our, you know, our course programming isn't just theoretical. It's a very important, a very important part and, and not to be neglected, but um, it's, it's more than that. One of the things that I really like to do uh, when we're doing course material is infuse a lot of stories about students that I've worked with, situations, scenarios, and I think that that just kind of brings it out of the theoretical and puts it in a student's mind's eye into the practical. And the one thing that I think makes us stand out is that we have a lot of flexibility within our program. So that if you're a professional who has a job, you can kind of make it work and it's more catered towards you as an individual. And I think that that is a really great role modeling piece because in this case around the EA program um, again it's all about relationship uh, I think you'll leave the program feeling like you have a really good handle on what's going on in the education system uh, and how you as an individual and a professional can really make a difference I'm, I'm grateful that I have the job that I do have and that I've chosen the career that I do it's it's very fulfilling. And the best part is, is I get to be around people and I get to help people. And that is such a great gift. You actually 
can make a tangible difference in people's lives. Um, and, and that is, you, you can't put a, a dollar value on that. Um, you're building relationships, you're building memories. Um, and you might be that one person that makes a difference for that student that has never had anybody to make that difference for them. You know, that's, um, that's a special gift. And uh, there's a lot of gratitude around, around that. You know, having students come back and connect with me from 10 years ago, um, or getting to see a student that I worked with in elementary school to make a difference and seeing them excel, maybe even graduate or do well into post-secondary if that's where they go, or into whatever they decide to do, any career field. Um, to be honest, those are the things that I'm most proud of. I think that there's lots of situations uh, when you are so intrinsically involved in other people's lives, um, <clears throat> I think those come with a lot of challenges, right? Because you're going to be dealing with a lot of challenging situations. Uh, so I think more than anything, it's really important to kind of sit back and be able to put those things in perspective um, and realize that those challenges are going to exist. Understanding that, you know, you can't save everybody. Whatever role you want to play and try your best to play, uh, there's many times where it's not going to work out. I mean, we're humans. We're messy. Uh, a lot has changed. We're dealing with so much more complexity at such a younger age for children. Uh, so things like social emotional learning, right? Uh, that's a great example. And that's a huge, huge, wonderful thing that we should be providing in schools. Uh, but 20 years ago, you know, it just wasn't really happening. The public education has really moved into that field quite a bit. And we're working more on raising, uh, you know, delightful and wonderful human beings. Uh, that can operate in the world. Um, with the advent of the internet and the changing of the way in which we consume information, uh, there's so much more coming at our youth and our kids than we ever experienced, you know, uh, just a generation before. Um, and so along with all of these kind of switches, uh, what, what we're really running into is... Um, this very, very powerful, you know, almost like portable encyclopedia of knowledge and information that is at uh, most kids' uh, fingertips. It just goes to show that we need to be constantly learning. And as our world expands and evolves and changes, uh, there's a place for education always. And so